this has run uh, rather hot rather hot indeed actually and actually what's happened what's actually happened is the uh, fan bearing has actually seized up so we've got to get a new one in there okay so basically what we're going to do in this video is uh, take the fan off and replace the um, fan pulley at the top because the bearings inside of it have uh, basically seized up and as you saw in that previous clip there was quite a bit of steam coming out and uh, yes the engine was getting quite hot so um, it's time to replace the pulley and uh, get uh, get Liz back to uh, proper working order again so let's set to and uh, get this uh, pulley off we need to slacken off this nut so that we can slacken the fan belt and slip it off at the bottom so this nut needs to be undone so that we can actually get the fan off this nut here, uh, we actually undo that to get the pulley off of this arm arrangement here. So what we need to do is undo this one at the bottom so that we can actually slip the fan belt off and remove the fan and pulley arrangement from the car. So I'll go ahead now and undo those nuts and we'll show you what it looks like when it's out. I forgot to mention also that uh, <clears throat> this bolt here also needs to be undone. What it actually does is allows you to tension this arm here to, ten to, to tension the fan belt so this uh, this tensioning screw needs to be backed out so that this can move more freely and I've just I've already backed it out a little bit so you can see now that uh, the whole the whole arrangement is loose so I'm just going to finish undoing this nut so that we can get this off and then we can get the fan belt off um, and then we'll be able to get to the pulley so just bear with me I'll just un finish undoing this and then uh, then we can get to the uh, part that we're looking for okay so here we have the uh, the fan and the uh, drive pulley for it which um, you can hear that squeak in there the bearings inside it are basically shot to bits so it's time for a new one so what we need to do is this um, this tensioning arm here needs to come off we basically undo this nut on the end here and then we take the arm off and then we need to detach the fan itself from the pulley and you can see those uh, those four bolts there which we just undo um, that's to take the fan apart now having finally got the uh, fan off of the end of the hub what you can see is I've actually gone in and repacked the bearings which are only brass bearings um, they've been repacked with grease. Um, it turns out all the problem was um, it hadn't actually seized as such. Um, but what had actually happened was because the bearings were running dry, they were uh, they were they were sticking and uh, not running as smoothly as they should. And also, um, it looks as though I may have to replace the fan belt as well. Um, so yeah, what's so basically what I've done here is I've repacked the bearings with uh, with some fresh grease. And now we'll put it all back together and tighten the fan belt up and make sure that the fan turns when the engine runs. Okay, so here's the unit back together and now uh, freshly greased. Um, and actually, if I, I can't actually jiggle that now, so that's, uh, now that's fully packed with grease. You can see now that uh, there's no wobble in the bearing and it actually runs very smoothly as it should. Um, naughty me for not uh, checking the grease levels in my fan. Now then, <clears throat> it's time to put the fan back in the car. And basically the first thing to do, what we want to do is make sure that, that fan belt will hook around the uh, bottom pulley. It hasn't come off, that's good. And the other thing, when we put it back in, we need to make sure that we loop the fan belt um, over this arm and over the pulley before we put it back together otherwise it's not going to work so I'll just go ahead and put the fan back in so this goes in here and I'll just put my camera down for a moment so I can just put the loop the fan belt back on and put everything back together and I'll 
We'll see how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the fan back in and the fan belt is re-hooked up and it is now properly tensioned so when we uh, give it a little jiggle there we can see that the belt's nice and we can still turn the fan slightly um, on its own so now what we'll do is we'll start the engine and uh, make sure everything's working as it should okay so now we'll start the engine turn the fuel on Just to keep this video short, I will electric start. Now as you can see the, uh, the fan's turning as it should, there's no squeaking noises or anything. Everything's working properly. Liz uh, lives to fight another day, as uh, you saw just how easy it was to uh, carry out that basic repair. And as it turned out, it didn't need a new um, fan hub at all, a uh, new fan pulley, it didn't need one. Um, all it needed was some grease in it, which uh, was quite a relief. And um, yeah, so I think uh, I shall keep a closer eye on that from now on. I, um, I was uh, labouring under the misapprehension that it had... Um, modern bearings um, on that fan pulley but as it turns out it actually has the original um, style uh, brass bearings and uh, they, they could possibly even be the originals because they've actually got the word Ford um, with the Ford script stamped into them so there's a possibility they're original but um, they may be reproduction ones I'm not a hundred percent sure um, but anyway that's uh, that's basically that's basically all done now and basically, um, in future, the uh, and for reference, what you actually do to put the grease in these things is actually a little tiny, and if you can just about make it out there, there's a grub screw on the side of the fan there. And what you actually do is you take that screw out and you pump it full of grease into that hub, and then you pop that screw back in, um, and that greases the uh, fan bearing. So it's as easy as that. Now, as far as tensioning the fan belt goes, that's very easy. All you do is you slacken off this bolt here and that allows this arm to move freely and then what you do is to tighten it you turn this one uh, clockwise to put more tension on the belt and counterclockwise to slacken it okay so if you ever need to put a new fan belt on one of these it's really easy you basically do the same procedure as what I did just then to uh, to, do, to do the the bearing there is you take take the whole arrangement off you undo this bolt here take it right out lift this off slip the fan belt off over that 
and it just comes straight off. And down the bottom, basically, um, you can just about make it out down there where the crank handle locks into the front of the crankshaft. Um, what you do is you actually slide the crank handle all the way forward, away from the car, um, which lets you slip the um, fan belt off the front of the hub, and it just slips in between the uh, crank and the, and the pulley there. <clears throat> So, I hope this uh, video was um, educational, and I uh, hope that you uh, learned something there, and um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. And uh, don't forget to uh, visit the website, that's www.fordmodelt.net, and also don't forget to check us out on Facebook, the links are in the description. See you for now.